Hello? Is the informant here? Are we supposed to just call him out like that? Or... Okay, those things are big. This place is big. Say it's all a setup. Are you going to help us or not? Yes. So you know who's really behind the rage page. And it isn't Russell. Yes. Are you whispering because you're afraid that we'll recognize you, or do you have like a sore throat? Yes. Is yes the only word you say? setting you up. Yes. It can't be you, Reese. I know something about the website that no one else will tell you because they're afraid of what might happen if they do. After Lana broke up with you, you and all rage page. I broke up with her. That's not what she told us. Yeah, well, when it comes down to that kind of thing, no one really tells the truth, do they? Reese, who started the rage page? He's my cousin. He's at your disposal. Ask him any question. He's here to help. Has anyone ever heard of the rage page? Well, you're about to. And if you don't want to end up on it, you'll listen closely. What exactly are we doing here? We deleted Patrick's picture after I sent it to one person. It was never meant for the rage page. She locks in, so I sent it to her. Who'd you send it to? Grant and Mason pressured everybody to send content to the rage page. Pictures, bad comments, insults. If you didn't, you ended up on it. That's what happened to me. Lana has it, all right? But she can't tell Reese. Everyone was afraid of it happening to them, so they did anything he asked. Grant told me that Lana was interested in Patrick. He used what Sophie told him to manipulate me, so I fired off a few angry texts. She used to text complaints about her friends to me, so I threatened to send screen caps of those to the rage page. She tried to get all of her friends against me. I kept sending texts, doing what Grant wanted, uploads to the rage page. Grant was pretending to be my friend. I see that now. He wasn't trying to help me. He's always doing that to people. Using the little power he has, threats, false loyalty, intimidation. It's hard to see when you're in the middle of it. And I was deep into the whole mess, thanks to him. You're obviously upset. I would be too. Lana going after Patrick behind your back? He should pay. He didn't know she was interested in him or that Ella would send that funny pic. It's not his fault. Oh, Reese. Protecting the boy who stole your girl. Very brave of you. But this is me you're talking to. I don't know. I guess. I mean. You know who's been running all over the school, trying to get us to take down the rage page? Yeah, I know. Molly and Billy, Harold, and those guys. I wish I'd come to one of you for help. But getting past the fear of what could happen if they found out I was part of it, or even just admitting it to myself, it wasn't easy with Grant holding that threat over me. Carl's been protecting Patrick, the person who stole Lana from you. Carl also knows Kara, a close friend of Lana. Do you think that's a coincidence? I don't, I'm not sure. If he has something to do with Lana cheating on you, we should find out, right? Let's see what Carl knows. I can help you out. He lied about Carl's involvement in anything. I never made the connection to Russell. I thought I was just buying myself some time. 
That's when Grant asked me for a favor. I need you to distract him long enough so we can check his phone. We're looking for texts that prove he's been lying about us and Lana. This doesn't seem right. You want to end up on the rage page again, Reese? No, I don't. But what does this have to do with you? What does this not have to do with me? Just think about what might happen if you don't help us out. Grant made it seem like if I didn't go along with it, I'd get into more trouble than I already was. So, I did it. I distracted Carl long enough that Ben made off with his phone overnight. They made Carl think he lost it by turning it into the office the next morning. And he didn't think anything of it. But by then, Grant had all the passwords and information he needed. He had all the pieces for the ultimate cyber attack. He got info from Ella that he used to convince me to upset Lana and plant a bomb on her and her friends. But that was just a decoy to draw attention away for the real use of the rage page, forcing me to go along with his plan. He stole Carl's phone and set in motion his final phase, framing Russell for everything that happened and as creator of the page itself. Why did you decide to come to us? And what makes you think we'd listen to you? Same answer for both questions. At the Rock Gym. Mason, Mason you, you want the rage, rage page? page? Mm -hmm. No, no. I wish. I wish. I'd be making, making a bunch of money, money off of advertising. Somebody, Somebody doesn't do that, though. I thought I only recognized Elliot from school, but then something caught my eye. His slip up on the wall was too perfect for the rage page. But it started making sense when I figured it out. There's no way a skilled climber like Elliot would make a mistake like that. He must have planned this to try to find out who had control over the page. At school the next day, I finally realized that Grant, through Mason, had framed Russell. Without all the facts, Elliot and everyone else was believing the lie. Grant was just gonna keep dragging innocent people down until someone told the whole truth. I knew that truth, so I came to you, people I knew I could trust. But you've been the informant this whole time? Why did you wait until now to come clean about the rage page? What do you mean? This is the first time I've snitched on anyone. <sighs> it's not snitching if you're trying to make things better. The only person who would call it snitching is Grant, not the people that you're trying to help. I guess I'm trying to help Russell. That's so weird. You helped Philip too when you told him who stole his homework. And you called on us to tell us about Lana, except... Except JT told us that you were a girl. Guys, I didn't do any of that. So there's more than one informant. Wait, there's no time. We have to let Carl know about this. No, we don't know if we're actually texting Carl anymore. It could be anybody. Anytime you text or email sensitive information, it could be seen or answered by anyone. We've only solved anything this week when we decided to put down our phones, turn off our computers, and go talk to someone in person. It is better to talk in person when things are important. We have to get to Carl before he confronts Russell with the wrong information. Let's go. Everyone thinks I set up the rage page. You're gonna tell me you didn't? Does it matter what I say right now? You don't trust me. <laughs> Russell, I stood up there and defended you. When no one wanted you on the team. When no one trusted you. I did. I defended you. 
Is that what this means? Russell, get off of that. I'm right here. Talk to me. Oh, Russell, I... I didn't write that. Someone hacked my phone, sent emails as me. <sighs> Russell, look. No more phones, no more emails, no more texts, nothing. I'm right here, just talk to me. My brother says you talked to him the day you picked me. I told you my mom forced me to play. Well, I know how that feels, so I'm not gonna force you to pick me now. Russell, I want to believe you, I do. But just a little while ago, you were posting under the rage page. Why? I figured. You all think that's who I am anyways. Might as well. If that's how you're gonna act, then I guess so. So are you? Are you? I can't reach Carl. His phone just goes straight to voicemail. What are you gonna do? We have to stop Grant. It's the only way to stop everything else associated with the rage page. Listen, Elliot, as much as I trust that you're gonna choose the right thing to do, we should also tell an adult. Good plan. I'm only gonna talk. If he gets violent, I'll call for help. So, JT, if Reese wasn't your informant for Alana, who was it? I can't tell you. She asked me to keep it private. She did right by us, and I'm gonna do right by her, and respect that. The informant can be anyone. Anyone who decides to do the right thing. And when they have the right information, they can help someone who needs it. Oh, it's you. Shh. I don't want to get blamed for anything Grant doing. So I'll tell you about Patrick and Lana. But that's it. And you can't tell anyone, OK? When they realize their actions mean something, it's when the powerless realize they have more power than they ever imagined. Active bystanders emerge when they refuse to participate any longer in the bullying. When they reach out to a friend in need to let someone know they're not alone. So who are they? They're people who push through the fear of being called the snitch. People who bully want to keep dark secrets. Someone has to be there to shine a light. Because you know how it feels, or they were once there for you, or you know something no one else does, or you just want bullying to end. For the targets, for yourself, for everyone. Elliot is comfortable with confronting Grant, but not everyone can do that. We'll all find our own ways. What is Elliot going to do? I have to show him that what he's done has hurt a lot of people, and there are a lot more who want it to end and he can convince to keep doing the wrong thing. you have. It's not real. You feel that? You telling me it isn't real? Sure feels real when it hurts you like that. Ugh. Hurting people. Making people feel bad. That isn't power, Grant. That's fear. Fear isn't real power. There are things that are more powerful than fear. Those kids on the rage page, making fun of each other, commenting on posts and then appearing in the next image. No one was safe. And no one is safe, including you. Computer, access rage page. Access, access denied. denied. What? Computer, access rage page. Access, access denied. denied. How, how did this happen? Because it's time to make money. You? 
You did it. I've told you I wanted to get paid for all the work I've been doing. With the amount of clicks this website is getting, I can do that now. Change it back. Now! You think I did this for you? You don't scare me. I just needed you to build up content on the site to sell ad space for all those clicks. Thanks, cuz. They're both cowards. This whole place is coming down because it's built on anger and fear. There's no connections, no foundations. We have to get out. But you're family, Mason. And you're a mean, manipulative loser, Grant. Why would he do that to me? Why'd he do that to Russell? Because, without Russell in the way, everyone, everyone sees me. He used to be the one everyone blamed. He used to be the worst. And now... And now it's you? I wanted to isolate him. To make him think everyone sees him the same way, no matter how hard he tries. Especially Carl. Because that would hurt both of them the most. <sighs> I'm not the worst. Is it so bad I want to win sometimes? Is it so bad if I have an opinion? Only when those things hurt others. <coughs> Only when they manipulate the truth. You think I don't care? You think I didn't notice you were trying to help me? You think I didn't care? It was just a website with some pictures. It was just a track. What could that ever do to someone? I didn't care. And I don't. The fear you used to get people on your side. It all went away when they stopped being afraid. Or when they saw a way to make it stop without having to deal with you. People will step forward when you lose your power over them. To inform, to avoid trouble, to pay it forward, to offer support to someone who needs it. Carl, it's you. Does Kara know you're here? I know Lana's been giving you trouble lately. But Kara's a really good friend. She's a great person. We're lucky to have her. Lana's been getting pretty mean. I don't know if I can stand it. Kara's worth it. Don't give up on her. She'll fix this whole thing with Lana. Trust me. She's worth every minute. Don't lose hope. Don't lose touch. We should have said these things while I was still around, but don't let it stop you from saying it to someone else. Thanks for letting me be honest. That's the most important part of friendship, Carl. Honesty and support. Being there when you're needed, or when you can help, no matter who it is. Communication. If things go left unsaid, or someone changes the message before it reaches you. Ask questions. Seek the source. For people like Lana and Patrick, they save texts and screenshots. And they went to adults when necessary. They got the help they needed. Things don't always last forever, the good or the bad. Sometimes it feels never ending, but things change. They always do. It's up to you to decide how you handle it. For people who bully, it's more about them than you. Their need for power and control means it's not about who you truly are. It's about their inability to accept or understand because they're missing the tools they need to overcome their own fears and problems. Making connections and believing people can change are important things to hope for. I knew I had to do something. I did have the picture of Ella all along, but I was too afraid of going against Grant, especially with Danny and Trey threatening me. But this whole thing was affecting too many people, and one in particular. Thanks for telling me, 
But why would you, of all people, risk everything for me? Because my friend Carl would do the same. With a good role model and positive support, Russell showed me that even he could change for the better. The only one who had the information I needed last spring. I have the information he needs now. What? You need to know the truth about what happened this week, but let's talk in person. Meet up where I met you, when you helped me. It was my turn to join the others. It was my turn to be an agent of change. 